Hey everyone, welcome to Bodie Life Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Equinox Mobius Shawl. So here is the shawl. It's fairly simple. It's comprised of the chain stitch, is what I call it. Um, it's a nice texture. It's got a little bit of stretch. Um, and then at the very end, well here we're going to start with the starting chain as we normally do and that's what creates that twist. Then we're going to do a bunch of rows of this chain stitch and then end it with a couple rows of half double crochet. So for this pattern, I chose to use Lion Brand's Comfy Cotton Blend yarn. I love that it comes with about seven ounces of yarn, so it's a big ball. Um, this one is the color Mochaccino. It's a lightweight yarn, a number three, and it calls for a size S hook, but for this pattern, I chose to use the USI, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. This is the other color I have. It's super pretty. I haven't used it yet. It's called Cloud Nine. And it has seven ounces per ball. So you can just use one ball for this size if you do this um, small, medium size. So here's the mochaccino. All right, so to get started, you're going to make a slip knot onto your hook. And then for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a downsized version. So I'm going to chain about 40 chains. I recommend um, making a large enough chain that will fit around your upper chest, your upper arms, and your back, and just see what works well for you. You do want it a little bit snug so that it fits well uh, when you put it on and it's not too loose. Once you have your chain, you're going to insert your hook into the first chain and slip stitch to close it and to create the round shape we're going to work in. Then we're going to chain two and half double crochet into that same stitch. And continue to half double crochet into each chain around. Here's what it will look like when you finish your half double crochets and instead of doing a slip stitch like you normally would at the top of the row what we're going to do is twist it and that is going to create the Mobius twist shape so we're going to take that row and flip it towards us and start another row of half double crochet onto the other side of the stitches this is the only time that you will have to make any kind of twist in this entire pattern. So you're going to twist it towards yourself this one time and continue to half double crochet. And when you do this, it's going to actually extend this first row that you just made. Um, so this isn't a complete second row. This is um, just continuing your first row on the other side of the chain to make the Mobius twist like to crochet over the tails of my projects usually just to make it feel a little bit more secure and so I don't have to weave a bunch of stuff in later. So just continue your half double crochets into each stitch all the way around until you come to that very first chain that you made.
So here we're about halfway through. I wanted to show you what it's going to look like. Um, here is that chain that we're trying to get to and here you can see it's twisted. So you're just going to have to gently turn it and continue half double crocheting into that following stitch and it will lead you all the way back to that beginning chain. So here we are at the end of this row and we made it back to that chain. I'm going to do the last few half double crochet stitches and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain. So here's the shape it will take after that row is finished. It has the little twist and that, that's the only time that you need to twist. You don't ever have to twist anything in this project again. You're just going to keep following the row after you begin your chain and you just keep following all the way back to that beginning chain and it'll create um, each row. So since we did a half double crochet on the opposite side of the chain, it's now doubled the amount of stitches than you started with with your chain. Now to begin the chain stitch, we're going to chain four. And then we're going to skip two stitches. So we're going to skip this stitch that the chain is in and then the following stitch and we're going to single crochet into the third. And that makes our first little chain space. We're gonna do it again in chain four. Two, three, four. Skip two stitches and single crochet into the next. You'll repeat this all the way until the end of the row. Here we are halfway through the row again. I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. These are the chain spaces I just finished. This is what we're trying to get back to. So I'm just going to follow each stitch around until I make it back to the very first one. At the end of this row, what we will do is, um, here I'm going to make my last chain stitch. So one, two, three, four, skip two, single crochet into the next stitch. Then I will slip stitch to the bottom of our beginning chain. All right, and then we're ready for the next row and the cool thing about this is we're basically just going to do the same thing in every row so chain four and instead of skipping anything you're just going to place that single crochet into the chain space that you made in the previous row and it may feel like a tight squeeze on this very first one but that's just going to create our next chain space for the following row so chain four again one two three four single crochet into the next chain space. You'll continue this all the way around the row until you come back to that very first chain. Here we are halfway through this row. I just wanted you to see what this will look like as well. You can see that the starting chain is on the opposite side. So just continue stitching and you will eventually make it back to that beginning chain. And you can see how it kind of unravels itself as you go. So just keep going forward and stitching into the next available stitch. Here we are at the last one. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into that last chain space and then we will slip stitch into the bottom of that beginning chain again. On 
to the next row, I'm just going to show you how we repeat the same thing. So chain four, single crochet into that next chain space, and keep repeating this pattern all the way around until you finish. what it will look like after you finish multiple rows of this chain stitch. It's super simple but makes such a cool texture and um, you can add as many rows as you want to make it as long as you want or even take out some if you want them shorter and then at the very end we're just going to do a couple rows of half double crochet to finish it off. So for the very end, we're going to do a row of half double crochet stitches. So grab your hook. I just did a few rows of the chain stitch. So chain two and half double crochet into that same stitch as your chain. Then you're going to place two half double crochet stitches into the next chain space. That's one, two, then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch, that one single crochet that you had in between your chains. Then half double crochet twice into the next chain. Half double crochet into the next stitch and repeat this pattern until the end of the row. Here we are at the end of this half double crochet border row and it's just going to make a little nice finishing touch for the outside and what you will do is slip stitch to the top of that first chain to close off this row and then to begin the next one we will chain two again half double crochet into that seam stitch then half double crochet into each stitch around. So once you reach the end, you will slip stitch to the top of that first chain and you can add as many of these borders as you want. You can add more rows. I thought two was just enough for like a spring type of shawl, but if you like a thicker border, I think that would actually be really pretty too. So what you'll do is um, cut your yarn, pull your yarn through, make that little knot, and weave in your ends. And here is my little mini Mobius shawl. So you just start with the um, starting chain, chain stitches, and then end it with that half double crochet border. Super simple. There's the twist in the front. So I hope you have enjoyed this pattern. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope this has been um, more helpful than the last couple of Mobius Shaw videos. I know some people have been getting a little mixed up with that twist part, but just remember that very first twist is the only time you need to twist it at all, and then after that you're just going to keep following each row like you are crocheting in the round, but um, in the end you, you will have that little twist. So here's what mine looks like. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this pattern. If you do, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends.